Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. In our last episode, we still didn't get our crusade declared, even though the Pope has been at peace for a little while, but we did have a holy war declared against us by the Fatimids, not a jihad this time though, just a normal holy war, but they're after this county up here, one of the two that we have left in this region, so we're obviously going to fight them and I think win. They have about 30,000 troops. We have them outnumbered if we factor in our holy orders that we can also raise. So we need to abandon the war that we're helping out Norway with. Sorry, Norway. But uh, incidentally, Norway are involved in this war, so maybe they'll put an end to their revolt and help us out. I guess we could look at getting another strong ally to help us out in this holy war just to make sure things go pretty well for us, and uh, maybe the Kaiser would be pretty ideal, he's at peace at the moment. Um, he has no children, and most of his siblings are dead. We'll try his heir, uh, who's already married and has no living children of his own, okay. Oh, he's Jewish actually. Could end up with a Jewish Kaiser, that would be interesting. How about his... Other sister, no, also married, um, non-matrilineally, so I don't think getting a betrothal with her would do anything for us. And you guys are bishops, so we can't get betrothals with you. Hmm. Uh, I guess we could look further afield to... Other branches of his family? I don't really want to go hunting through all of these, and I don't think any of these people are going to be closely enough related to give us any alliances. Except with the Count, which obviously is nothing that we care about. Alright, so... Holy Roman Empire is a no-go. Maybe all well, the Byzantines have a big revolt going on right now. Sicily, perhaps? Got 11,000, which is not unreasonable. Uh, he is Orthodox, incidentally. Maybe Pisa might be better. 17,000. Oh, we could try it. He's got a 15-year-old son. We have a daughter of similar age. Give us a non-aggression pact. Okay. I think we'll do it. Pisa is in a couple of other wars right now, so they might not be immediately available to help us out, but we'll still upgrade it to an alliance and call them in anyway. So I'm going to get my troops back home, then disband and re-raise, make sure we get as many troops as possible. Okay. So we'll offer him an alliance. Ooh, and Leon is offering to join our war. Of course, we'll accept. Let's hope we get some more offers. Because it's a holy war that nearby rulers can join if they so desire. Okay. So, because we want to get our troops down there as quickly as possible, I'm just going to do it the slightly slower way of raising all of my troops in coastal locations and getting them each onto boats. So you, that county belongs to Ireland, so that doesn't matter. Involves a lot more clicking and pressing of buttons, but should speed things up a bit for us in game terms. Okay, our retinue is over here, and I don't think we're going to be able to raise enough boats here to get them on there. We're going to have to maybe send Ireland's fleet down there, that should be good enough. Okay, don't select Ireland's fleet, and you can all immediately get started over here. 
so still need our levy from down here and from Sicily. You get on your way too, and let's also not forget our two vassalized holy orders. Uh, let's see, one of them comes with their own boats. They're gonna need to raise some more boats, I think, from our domain. And also our domain troops, let's not forget. Okay, so let's just have all of you go to this county. And I don't think we have quite enough boats here, as it stands. So we might need to divert you around here, use your boats. Okay, I think we have everything lined up. The way we want it. Let's see what the Fatimids are up to. Apparently sieging our one county down here. Haven't moved towards... Oh, our alliance with Norway is broken down, unfortunately. Haven't moved towards their war goal yet. Our daughter is 12 years old, so she needs a focus for her education. She's curious, playful, and fussy. So, not diplomatic. Uh, intrigue would be very good, though. Okay, so you guys are all here. You can merge up. And then get on your way over here. And everyone is in place here. Okay, so I don't know how many troops exactly we have raised right now, let's see, uh, 35,000? Is that the amount we have raised right now? Doesn't seem correct. Oh it is, okay, yep, 35,000. I was forgetting about the Holy Orders, I think. Oh, he's got 51, hmm, this could be a problem, we might need some mercenaries. Unless we can attack some of his armies before they get formed up together. He does have land extending quite far down here, so some of his armies could take a while to get in place. Of course, ours are coming from very far afield as well, so it might not be a big advantage. Get up here. Young Hextilda has finished her education. Another prisoner. Became a detached priest. Free money though? Yes, thank you. As a reigning emperor, I rarely have any spare time, but for my little son Roy, I would move heaven and earth. Okay, so his opinion's improved. Still just timid. No other traits. Okay, so it looks like he has 16k here, another 16k down here, but heading southwards. So we might be able to catch this army by itself. Not with only 3,000 though. I have to wait for more of our troops to trickle in. Alright, they're headed further west. We definitely won't be able to reinforce this in time, so the county in question here is mountains, unfortunately. Beirut also mountains. We might be able to lure them into attacking us there. Money continues to flow through the trade post in Syracuse, but your relationship with the merchant family that owns it has soured. To, to teach them a lesson without going to war, you could arrange for a mob to burn it down. Um, in Ancona? You know, I usually never do this, but uh, let's assemble the mob. I think there are other possible results to this besides just burning down the trade post, so we'll see what happens. Okay, we have 9,000 here now. Envoys from the Patrician have presented you with a significant bribe. 
and hope that you will use your influence to spare his trade post. Uh, yeah. Or we can take the money and still burn down the trade post. Nah, we'll leave the trade post and keep the money. Okay, so I've lost track of that army. But we have 20,000 here now, so we should be able to afford a decent battle. Can just about fit in here under the supply limit, so we'll do that. Right, and as we go along the coast here, we still don't see his other army. Or here, our mother-in-law died. We are distraught, I'm sure. The county of Sur here is also mountain, so I think we'll park our other 20k in there. Well, we can't quite fit them in the supply limit, but that's okay. Right, let's see, can we land them somewhere else and split them up over here? Uh, no, in fact, we can't for some reason. Out of supplies, uh, right. Okay, so we can fit 15k in here. Let's no, not split in half. I guess we could have done it that way, never mind. Okay, that'll do. Both get back on here quickly before you lose any men. We'll land 14k here. Oh, and here he comes. Uh, unfortunately, we're at low morale here, but we should be able to reinforce quickly with 20k from just next door. So hopefully that will be enough, at least to win this initial battle. We do have 12 days to regain morale before he gets here. Let's just hope his other army isn't close by. We do have another 6k in the boats here, let's get them landed here, they're going to cause attrition if they go into this county. And let's some, send some boats over here so we get vision on a few more counties. Okay. So we're going to go down to speed 3, so we can react a bit quicker. Okay, no sign of any army on the coast here at least. We're going to be at maybe 70% morale, which is better than 50%, but not great. Okay. Now, do we have an organizer available? We don't. Could we possibly appoint one? Nope. All right then. We're going to be here on the 8th of November. Let's just hope that we, we hold out for long enough. Looks like we're going to. Okay, so we have 33k against 17k now and better morale. So this should be a victory as long as... His reinforcements aren't just lurking in the fog of war here and are about to jump in. I think we're going to be okay. Alright, so victory there. 14%. Not a huge victory. And I do see his 22 over here. So... Let's see, I don't suppose that's good enough for a white piece. What do we get if we enforce our demands? A whole bunch of gold, okay. 
Well, we'll see whether we're gonna accept a white piece or push him to 100. Okay, I think we might pull back over here. Assume we can fit that number in there, that's fine. Hopefully he'll lose some men to attrition through here as well, that would be good. He did. Hopefully we don't. Uh, I think we might have lost some actually. It's unfortunate. However, I think we can actually resupply or uh, reinforce our troops if we're in our home territory, which we will be over here. So that's potentially useful. Okay. Let's see, that's desert. This is mountains. Our supply limit in here is 18, so we can put this 6k in there as well. Okay, so both of these counties are mountains, so wherever he chooses to try to attack us, and I'm assuming that he'll try to attack us, we should be able to win another battle. Yeah, he's just coming into Beirut. these commanders and use them in the other army here. Oh, they aren't available? Okay. Alright, they must be belonging to the Holy Orders. Alright. This is gonna be here on the 17th. I wonder how many of the troops that they have down here? Another 20k or so? We probably are gonna need some mercenaries. No sign of any troops from Leon who have joined. They should have 7,000. Oh, here they are. I guess they're planning to walk all the way around. Use your boats. Surely you have boats. Hmm. And Pisa. I guess we can't get an alliance with them. Okay, well, I guess we'll go back and raise some mercenaries. Which we can afford, we have lots of money. Losing quite a lot right now, but that's okay. We should be able to supply some mercenaries for long enough to have at least one battle. I think we'll just hire one of the very large mercenary companies. Company of St. George, maybe. Oh, they don't come with any boats. They have an army up here. The Fatimids have landed an army in Wales. Wow. Okay, well, there's no point raising them right now because we don't have the boats to transport them down. So we'll send our boats up in this direction, preparation, but for now we're just going to have to fight with what we have down here. I think it'll probably be enough. I think the mercenaries would just really be a precaution. So let's see how this goes. Hmm, maybe they will get here in time. Okay. We'll definitely be able to hold out until our reinforcements. The question is how many casualties we inflict before they start getting reinforcements in. So here's our troops. Yeah, we've done pretty well, so this is basically over. Them coming in now will only prolong this and probably make it even worse for them, so... I think this is going to turn out pretty well. Okay, they got in. 
broke the center again. And the other flanks. So this will put their numbers about equal, but they should be at lower morale than us. Or maybe not, actually. Let's see. Yeah, they're at higher morale. Hmm, this could be difficult. As a reigning emperor, I rarely have any spare time, but for my little son, Callum, I would move heaven and earth. Family first. Yeah, so I don't like the look of this battle at this point. So if we could get a white piece right now... Of course we can't, okay. Well, let's see how it goes. Yeah, we lost our center and right, but we do have a defensive point here on the left. I doubt that's going to be enough, though. Our boats are not back to pick up any mercenaries and are not even close, okay. So I think what we should do now is attempt to retreat uh, down in this direction along the coast so that we can get back on the boats as quickly as possible. Right, we're retreating down to here. Fine. Hopefully he'll focus on trying to take his war goal instead of following us. Nope. Oh, and he can attack me here because I was doing a controlled retreat instead of a shattered retreat. Well, that's bad. I guess it's probably safer to just let them win and do a Shattered Retreat then. Oh, now you call the Crusade for Jerusalem. Your timing, Pope Lucius, is terrible. His Holiness Pope Lucius has been swayed by the cries for help from the Christian population of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. He urges all able-bodied men of Europe to take up arms against the evil Caliph. In order to secure Jerusalem from the clutches of the Mohammedan infidels, God will grant the pilgrims remissions of sins in heaven. Okay. Well, I don't know if we can even join this, because we're already at war with the target of the crusade. This is terrible. Well, on the plus side, he might take a white piece now that he's the target of a crusade. Still no. Alright. <laughs> well. Um... This is a very interesting situation, to say the least. I guess we'll try to get our troops here onto boats if we can get out in time. So you can at least get to some safety. Nope, we're gonna get caught again. Hmm. And we're gonna get this army caught too. In fact, at this point, we might be better off just disbanding all of our troops and re-raising them, even though we lose half of them, because we're probably gonna lose more as he chases us down and fights more battles against us. Anyway, we're over time for this episode, so... We'll just end it here and see what we can do next time. In fact, maybe the best option for us would be to just surrender. So we lose this county, but then we can freely join the crusade and try to win this. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it and we'll decide in the next episode. For now, though, thanks for watching and join me again next time.